What is going on today, everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know that I am. I'm figuring things out. We're getting things working on these headlights. So when you start a Subaru, their daytime running lights come on and they use the high beams as their daytime running lights. Well, that's cool and all, except when I want to separate the two and make different lights for both the systems, but it's all ran off one cable. So with that, we have to figure out some other way to make this work. And with that, when we turn the jewel eyes on and have the, have the car turn on and have the actual daytime running lights come on, the jewel eyes flicker and they don't like to work. So we gotta go through and fix that. What I have actually done to help resolve this problem is here in our fuse box, in the, in the engine bay obviously, is all of our kind of headlight stuff going on in this corner. Now this relay used to be this relay right here. So if you look at this, this is a five post relay, five post relay that goes in there and this is your daytime running light relay. So on this little relay, the five posts this middle post up on the front here, this middle copper one, that's what controls your daytime running lights. That's what does the first startup if you don't have the lights on. So it'll be the really, really dim headlights. Easy way to fix that is to go ahead and unplug the resistor underneath the passenger front bumper you can go through the air box or your, I have the bumper off right now, so it's super easy. I'll show you where that is. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do, because I have extra ones, is I'm gonna install a four post instead of a five post relay in that system. So it's going to still do the high beams, but it's going to completely disregard the daytime running lights. So that way I don't have to go ahead and tape up or figure out a way to keep the relay system dry and I can go ahead and just pull this brown one out, pop this one in and be done with it. Easy enough. Let's see if I can. Here we go. This one's the old Denso relay. And then this is an Omron G8H-7H71 part number. It's 12 volt. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. That's why I wrote it out. But that relay goes down here in the corner right there. So it says DRL relay, daytime running light relay, and that one is correspondent to right here. So we've gone ahead and replaced it with one already. Here's the other tan one, what the tan one looks like. So we've replaced this one and the headlights still work. We can go ahead and turn our headlights on. Headlights are on. High beams still work. And then the daytime running lights don't turn on when the car turns on. Now, I'm not gonna turn the car on because it's, I think, midnight and it's a loud car. Just take my word for it. Daytime running lights don't come on with this mod. So. One other thing I thought about doing if I didn't want to replace that relay was actually clipping the middle uh, lead off. Just keep it completely clipping it off or you can actually go ahead and with this uh, fuse box right here, there's a little tab on this side. You can take this whole thing out and depin it. Probably need to take this one out too. It just pops right up and then this one will Pop right up as well, if I can get it by hand. There we go. So both those pop right out and you can get to the bottom of both of them and you can probably de-pin whichever pin is the missing one on this module. With that, it's a $10 module I think for two of them. So I went and got the modules. Actually, I had them laying around. Now, the other option that is super popular with a lot of people because it costs zero dollars and a little bit of effort is take the air box out and then you get 
down to this little guy right here. This giant heat sink is a resistor for your headlights, your DLRs. One of them, I don't know which one it is. I know, all I know is if you unplug this cable right here, just like that, it doesn't work no more. So I'm gonna plug it back in because I need it. And I found out that if you have this unplugged and the car's running, it pops fuses. Don't do that. So either have it unplugged or plug it in. Either way, just keep it one way and then turn the car on or off. If you plug it in and out, I seem to be popping fuses. Not fun. But there you go. There's your two options, three options on how to take care of your daytime running lights on your Subaru to make sure that they don't come on and still keep the functionality of your high beams. Awesome. Well, now we got another piece of the puzzle taken care of. So now we can check that off the list of things to do. Now we got to figure out how to power these daytime running lights because that's the whole point of having the whole jewel eye is to show everybody how cool the daytime running lights are. Now, a lot of people choose to change the colors with the multicolor array, might do that, might just keep it white. We'll see, right now it's up in the air, but at least we have the option of using high beams now. So, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully you guys learned something and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're doing this mod, leave it in the comments below. I wanna hear what vehicle you're doing it on. And don't forget to leave this a big thumbs up if it helped you out, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.